Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will have a look at what is hybrid identity. Go to YouTube and subscribe on Usher Cloud Chef. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload the new video. Microsoft's identity solutions span on-premises and cloud-based capabilities, creating a single user identity for authentication and authorization to all resources, regardless of location. We call this hybrid identity. So if I create a single user account on the on-premise AD, it should be able to log on and access my cloud-based applications that are inbuilt within my organization or I'm in or I'm integrating third-party applications or the application which are already available on Azure there are more than uh, more than thousand applications that are available to register on the Azure portal within your Azure AD so your user account would not be using different identities for each and every application to use on cloud or on on-premise the single user account with work will work on to access all the identities which spans on premises or cloud based solutions that is the hybrid identity as your ready connect will integrate your on premises directories with azure active directory this allows you to provide a common identity for your users for office 365 azure and saas applications integrated with azure ready to achieve hybrid identity with azure ready one of the one of three authentication methods can be used depending upon the scenarios. The three methods are uh, password hash synchronization, which is also known as PHS. The second one is pass through authentication, which is also known as PTA. And third one is federation, which is known as ADFS. These authentication methods also provide single sign-on capability. Single sign-on automatically signs your users in when they are on their corporate devices connected to your corporate network. The three topics that we have mentioned here, that is PHS, PTA, ADFS, I'll make separate videos to explain them in detail. But as of now, I just wanted to let you know that these are the three methods with which we can achieve hybrid identity with Azure AD. Common scenarios and recommendations. If you need to sync new user contact and group accounts created in your on-premises Active Directory to the cloud automatically, you can use either one of PHS, PTA, and ADFS. If you want to have uh, set up your account for Office 365, you can use three of them. If you want to enable your users to sign in and access cloud services using their on-premise password, you can use PHS, PTA, or ADFS. If you want to implement single sign-on using corporate credentials, you can use PHS, PTA, and ADFS. But if you want to ensure no password hashes are stored in the cloud, then you will not use PHS, that is password hash synchronization. Then you would only go for path-through authentication and single sign-on and or ADFS. You can use PHS, PTA, or ADFS if you want to enable cloud-based multi-factor authentication solutions. And if you want to enable on-premises multi-factor authentication solution, then you would only use ADFS. If you want to support smart card authentication for your users, you would only use ADFS. If you want to display password expiry notification in the Office portal and on the Windows 10 desktop, you will only use ADFS. So this was the video that I wanted to share with you guys explaining what is hybrid identity and the common scenarios. I hope it was useful for all of you. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.